All right. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. I finally fixed my sound issue with Titanfall, and I figured out what was wrong. And it was a due to a way. It was due to an issue with the fact that Origin messes up a lot while installing DirectX, which then leads to Titanfall's sound not installing correctly. So I'm going to show you. What I did, I won't go through the entire process because you don't need a 15 minute video of me just sitting here watching the game install and me deleting files and everything. So basically what you do is go to your computer, open it up, go to your program files or wherever you can find the origin games install in your computer. For me it's just in my C in program files 86. Go into Titanfall, go into installer, Go to DirectX, the redist file. Now you'll see I have this folder here. Which is, I did the folder method, but you can do it another way. Basically, what you want to do is normally it'll be sorted by name. You want to sort it by type, like I have here. And then pretty much these three here DX setup.exe, DS setup.dll dsetup32.dll, you want to keep those. Everything below that, all this jazz, you want to either delete or put into a separate folder inside here. Like I did. I just named it cab and put it in there. doesn't matter. As long as you get rid of all those files that aren't these three right here. Then what you do is make sure that your DirectX, this one, is inside your installation folder like it already is for me because I fixed my game. Then, what you want to do is go down to VPAC, and you want to delete this camlist file. Then you want to go and delete all the uh, VPACs that end in a certain number. Uh, or uh, this is actually part. This step is actually part of the respawn step, but respawn doesn't do this next part, which I'm going to show you. So yeah, to make sure you want to delete all the VPACs, anything in that folder between 34 and 40. So pretty much all of these, want you want to just delete them, and you want to delete the file called Camus at the top here. You'll delete that. Then what you'll do is you'll go to your Origin, click on Repair Game for Origin. I don't need to do it because I already fixed my game. It'll start to verify and do that. What you want to do is at this point in time, have your task manager open. This is for Windows, obviously, by, oh, by pressing Control Alt Delete. Go into your task manager and sit in the DE area in Processes. Under the Processes tab, normally you'll start under Applications for most people. You want to be looking at Processes and go and look in the DTE tab. When Titanfall starts to install the repair, you'll see two things pop up in this window. Uh, DS, or, yeah, DX setup or something along those lines and EA proxy launcher. The DS setup, it'll be a direct X setup process. When that appears, you want to end that process. And what happens is you'll end that process and you can do you want to do this while it's installing basically you end that process and what that does is since it stops uh, origin from trying to install uh, DirectX which it's going to fail at anyways because origin if you have been using it for any period of time have probably noticed that it doesn't do a very good job and you'll get DirectX errors when installing other games like I got it for both Battlefield and Battlefield Hardline when it happened You'll stop that process, but don't stop the EA proxy launcher process. By stopping the direct X process that'll appear in here, it'll that in installation will be finished because it already have all the files in there. It's just messed up. Then what it'll do is it will properly go to the sound to the sound files that you just made it re-download, and it will properly unpack those and actually install them the correct way. And then it'll ask you to restart your computer to um, 
accept the changes you made to Titanfall, which you'll have to do. And then after you do those, you should be able to go in and Titanfall sound will work perfectly. And that's, yeah, that's what I had to do to install the game, to make sure the sound file is installed properly for Titanfall on Windows. And you can actually use them and you'll, you should get no sound or static or any issues when playing the DLC maps. And I can't remember quite exactly what the exact name of the DirectX setup thing will be, but it'll be pretty obvious if you just sit here and watch your task manager while it's while the game starts to install, it'll be pretty obvious it'll pop up like dssetup.exe and you'll see the EA proxy launcher.exe pop up and you want to just delete the DirectX thing. You just want to end the process that DirectX popped up. I don't know why that helps. I'm going to go, go ahead and guess that it has something to do with the fact that when Origin screws up installing DirectX, it doesn't bother to go on and check and make sure it properly unpacks the uh, Titanfall sound files. So the game, when you like do a checkup or a verify game installation, it'll be like, oh, all the files are here, it'll work just fine. And then it'll go in and you'll go try to play the game, but since the sound files aren't actually unpacked, you, the game doesn't know what to play there, so it just plays static, hissy noises that are insanity inducing and probably a direct conduit to the old gods. But yes, that should fix your sound issues for Titanfall if you're having them on the DLC.